Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma for those of you who are new and I would love it if you guys subscribed and stuck around. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm back at you with yet another book haul. This book haul is huge and I think it's the largest book haul I've ever done on my channel. I could be mistaken, but I counted 34 books that I'm going to haul for you guys today and I believe the record on my channel is... 33. I could be wrong. I could be mistaken. I haven't done a book haul for you guys in a while and by a while I mean like two months. My last book haul I did was strictly book depository books. So I placed a huge order on book depository before they closed down. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link it in the cards and down below. All the books I'm going to show you guys today, I've been accumulating since like April, I'm pretty sure, and like throughout the summer. So books that I just haven't hauled for you guys. I wanted to get this book haul out of the way and you guys asked for it i also posted a poll on my youtube community tab and shocker the book haul one for what video you guys wanted to see next i just know that you guys love when i spend my money on books probably more than i love spending my money on books because my bank account is drained because i have a book shopping problem what can i say i have a lot of books that i need to show you guys so without further ado i'm just going to go ahead and get into it be sure to comment down below like this video subscribe if you haven't already you can also follow me over on tiktok instagram bookstagram but without further ado let's just go ahead and get into this huge book haul Normally in book hauls, I share with you guys the title, author, and like the average Goodreads rating, but because I have so many books to share with you, I'm just going to pull them off my cart and I have a few back here on my bookshelf and we're just going to breeze through it. So this video isn't like three hours long, but let's just go ahead and get into it. So these books are in no particular order of like when I bought them or how excited I am to read them or anything. I'm just going to pull them and pick them off of the stack here. So the first books I have are actually on my bookshelf back here so let me go grab those really quick so there's still more on my bookshelf that i need to haul for you guys but these i feel like are the books that i'm most excited about at least cover wise so i went to london early in the summer i went in june with my little sister for like a sort of birthday trip but we also saw harry styles in concert at wembley which was amazing i vlogged some of the trip so i'll link that video in the cards down below if you guys haven't seen it but i was most excited to get my hands on some uk covers specifically sarah j mass uk covers and i didn't have the crescent city books yet on my tbr on my bookshelf so i decided to pick them up in the uk covers and they are absolutely stunning they are my prized possessions pride and joy even though i haven't finished the actor series yet even though i haven't read the throne glass series yet and even though most booktubers and book talkers and bookworms recommend reading this series last so i have a lot of sarah g mass that i need to catch up on but i couldn't pass up these covers and i was like when is the next time i'm gonna be in london hopefully soon but you never know in these like titles had just released like the new covers so i got the first one i got house of earth and blood which has this stunning like wolf i think on the cover i have no idea what these books are about but covers are stunning and they have like the gold on them amazing i got these both at waterstones and then i got house of sky and breath and i don't know if this is a snake a worm some kind of dragon I don't really know. I got both books in the Crescent City series and you best believe that once the third book comes out, I think it's coming out in like January, right? I don't know. I'm definitely going to get the UK cover in that as well. So these are the first books that I have for you guys and they're just my prized possessions and they are so beautiful and they have their own place on my shelf with all the rest of my Sarah J Mass books. Speaking of Sarah J Mass, I have the whole Throne of Glass series to haul for you guys. So let me grab those off my shelves there's quite a few books so it might take me a minute okay. okay so i have the entire throne of glass series to haul for you guys i don't even know how many books it is eight books i think so i've actually already hauled these ones on my channel before i can't remember honestly but i have the assassin's blade which is like the novellas of throne of glass and then i have the title throne of glass so those two i don't know if i've hauled these on my channel before i feel like i've talked about them before but have the first two books in the series and then i have the rest of the series and they just progressively get thicker as the series progresses so I have Crown of Midnight, which I absolutely love these covers. These are not new books by any means. I'm pretty sure these were published a long time ago, but the new covers just came out recently. So I have Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire. I feel like this one is one of my favorite covers. I just think it is so stunning. But also this one, I feel like this one is so cute. This one kind of reminds me of Hogwarts, like up here, but this is Queen of Shadows. 
also so stunning. I have Empire of Storms and Tower of Dawn. I'm pretty sure these are the two that you're supposed to tandem read, correct? I could be wrong, but also both stunning covers. I have Kingdom of Ash, so the final book in the Throne of Glass series, and a big mama. She is a big mama, but yeah, that is all. I have all of the Throne of Glass books here on my bookshelves, and they are intimidating to me. I will not lie. I haven't finished Akatar, but that is on my list to finish hopefully in the next couple months so that I can focus on Throne of Glass this fall because I really want to read these books and then get into Crescent City before the third book releases. So let me know if you've read these books, if you love them. I know a lot of my booktube friends, book talk friends, bookstagram friends have so many good things to say about this series. It just intimidates me. I'm not going to lie. Fantasy intimidates me. I just started reading fantasy this year. So I feel like these are going to be hard to digest because I feel like there's a lot more world building in these. I could be wrong. Maybe it's Crescent City that has a lot more world building. But I'm excited to read these, but nobody told me they were in third person. I can't do third person books. So that's also a hump I'm going to have to jump through. If a book is not in first person, I can't do it. So we shall see how this goes, but... I do have the entire Throne of Glass series on my TBR and we'll see if we get around to it. Hopefully I will. It's like priority TBR for me for the fall after I finish Akatar, of course. So Throne of Glass completes my Sarah G. Mass collection as of now. Okay, so that is all the Sarah G. Mass books I have to show you and all the books that were left on my shelf. So now we can move on to my cart here and sort of breeze through these. So the first book I have I've actually already read, but this is Happy Place by Emily Henry. I have the hardcover, but I also have the paperback version. If you've watched my book depository haul, I ordered like, is it like the export version or something of the paperback? It's a large paperback format, but I wanted to read it so bad and I prefer paperbacks more so than hardcover but I've already read this and I believe I rated it a five stars but my boyfriend did get me a signed copy of the hardcover which is so sweet because he knows I love Emily Henry so I will not be getting rid of this at all it still has a place on my shelf on the top shelf um, with my other Emily Henry books so definitely very thoughtful of him I've already read this book and do I need two copies of the same book Absolutely not, but I will definitely reread it and I'll be rereading the paperback. But I just thought that this was so sweet and so thoughtful of him to get me a signed copy. So here's another book I got in the UK. I also got this at Waterstones in London. I have never heard of this author before, never heard of this book. I was intrigued solely based on the cover. So this is Love Struck by Laura Jane Williams. I have no idea what this is about other than it's a second chance romance rom com -y type of situation so the cover itself is just so stunning so i decided to pick it up and i definitely want to read this sometime soon or maybe save it for the springtime we shall see but another uk cover that i think is just absolutely stunning so next up i guess i can share with you guys this whole series but this is the dreamland billionaire series by lauren asher these are the first books i've ever read by lauren asher and i've read the first two out of three in the series i have the fine print which follows rowan and sarah this is the first in the series i have terms and condition which follows declan and iris and then i have the final offer which follows callahan and alana which i have not read this one yet but i'm excited to i started these books when i went to london and i finished both of them while on my trip and they were just such fun easy books to read so i am highly excited to read the third in the series but i just recently picked this one up my boyfriend got it for me when we were in the city a couple weeks ago so i'm excited to read this one the next book i have is another book that i'm excited to read but i haven't heard many good things about this book so it's kind of been like stressing me out to pick it up but this is once more with feeling by Alyssa Sussman this is her newest release Alyssa Sussman is the author that wrote funny you should ask and I feel like funny you should ask took tiktok by storm last summer when she released it and it also had a lot of like love hate reviews so I'm excited to formulate my own opinion on this one but I'm pretty sure it's like a second chance romance situation and it was like a pop star and maybe someone who was in like a boy band or something and they have like a fling and then they break up and then they move on with their careers and then I think they do something with like a Broadway show and they're both in it or both associated with it somehow and there's like a second chance to rekindle their flame. I don't know. I heard there's like a trope in here that I'm not a big fan of and that a lot of people said like ruined the whole book. So I don't want to say it just in case you guys haven't read it 
or haven't seen any TikToks and don't want the spoiler like I got, but I'm so excited to read it and I feel like her covers are just so stunning. But we'll see if I like it. I didn't rate Funny You Should Ask like too highly, I think like a three star maybe, but I'm still hyped to read that one. Okay, next up we have a book by one of my favorite authors. Taylor Jenkins Reid. I love TGR. This is Maybe in Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid and I believe this is also a second chance romance. So I don't really know. Just some kind of romance and I feel like TGR does romance so well. She does anything well. I have nothing bad to say about Taylor Jenkins Reid like ever. I've only like not loved one of her books. So excited to read this one. I have this and then Carrie Soto is back still left on my TBR by Taylor Jenkins Reid. But other than that, I think I'm like caught up with her whole bookography so definitely excited to read this one and definitely want to pick it up hopefully soon next book i have is by abby jimenez i've never read anything by her but i hear amazing things specifically from sarah and des here on youtube i feel like they both really enjoy her books this is yours truly by abby jimenez and i'm also excited to read this one i i go into books blindly if somebody says that it's good i just pick it up not knowing what it's about so let me know your thoughts on any of abby jimenez's books because i hear nothing but good things so i'm excited to pick it up okay this book i've actually already read so this is call it what you want by Alyssa derogatis i got this solely because i followed the author on tiktok this was her debut novel and it's about like her own experiences with a situation ship that lasted like five years or something so this is about sloan and ethan they meet in college and then they're just a situation ship and he like can never fully commit to her and then flash forward to like their post-grad lives and they're still like an invisible string tying them together but they still just fully can't commit to each other so if you've ever been in a situation ship or you currently are in one now i feel like this really like encapsulates like that sort of vibe it's not deep by any means but it is a very short very easy read i'm pretty sure it's on kindle as well but she kind of took like the world by storm by like promoting herself on tiktok i think when she released this it was, it was like oops it was like number one in like woman's fiction or something so I'm excited to see where her journey as an author goes and it's kind of just like a woman supporting woman moment like i wanted to support like a young upcoming author and her like professional career and it's kind of sparked my own interest in writing as well so definitely pick this one up if you guys are in a situation ship or even if you're not i feel like this is just such a great quick and easy read and i think the cover is so fun so okay, next up i have another book that is also like in a sort of series but you don't have to read them like in order i don't think but this is practice makes perfect by sarah adams i think the first one is called when in rome and this is about like the, the guy is like the bodyguard of the girl in the first one and then the girl in this one is like the sister of the boy in the first one i don't know if that makes sense but this is just like a closed door romance sarah adams writes closed door romances i've never read anything by her before but i feel like this is just going to be a good little rom-com situation and i absolutely love the cover i think it's so cute and yeah i mean he has tattoos on his arm who doesn't want a man with tattoo on his arms it just gives like harry styles 100 percent but excited to read this one and i think this cover is just so fun i definitely want to pick this one up before summer's over because i feel like the cover is just screaming summer so maybe we'll read this in like an end of summer weekly reading vlog or something but if i like this one i'm definitely going to pick up more books by sarah adams and hopefully the first one that's supposed to come before this one but you don't have to read them in order i don't know okay next up i have a book by lucy score i have rock bottom girl by lucy score and don't know much about this one either i've heard sarah and des talk about this one as well but i think it's just about a gal who goes back to her hometown she's like fully grown but she goes back to her hometown and like starts coaching soccer or teaching or something at a school like her old high school and her old like summer or not summer like school fling from like high school works there and i guess they like rekindle that or like fake date or something it sounds cute but then when you think about how lucy scores characters are like 40 years old or something it's like eh but i'm excited to read it i feel like lucy score does banter so well definitely hyped to read this one okay guys this next book is like an embarrassment to me and it's calling me out because i have had two books by this author on my tbr for almost two years now and i still have not read them i have loved theoretically by ali hazelwood i have had lo the love hypothesis and love on the brain on my tbr for almost two years i feel like and i still have not read them even though they are very hyped up on book talk and like the romance book lovers community saw this one and i said hey i like ali hazelwood even though i don't know if i like her because i've never read any of her books in my life 
but I decided to pick it up and I've heard nothing but good things about this book in all of her books if I'm being honest but definitely need to read these and then I think Allie Hazelwood is releasing like like kind of like a fantasy book like about like vampires or wolves or something and I feel like that's new for her and it's not like STEM related I don't think but my camera died and I had to fix it so if the lighting is different or the angle has changed I apologize. So yeah let me know if you guys want a Allie Hazelwood reading vlog because I need something to light a fire under my butt to make me read those books. It's not like I'm scared to read them or anything or I think they're gonna be bad like I honestly think they're gonna be good and I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy them but I just don't know why I haven't picked them up yet so we shall see. Let me know if you want that video. Next up, I have It's Not Summer Without You by Jenny Han. This is the second book in the Summer I Turn Pretty series, and I've already read this. I just finished it a couple days ago. I also have the new covers in these books, so I'm waiting for the third one to come out. I read the first one last year, and I rated it like two stars. I honestly hated it because it was like too YA, but I honestly thoroughly enjoyed this one a little bit more because you got to see a little bit more of them growing up, and I feel like the third one is probably going to be my favorite. I feel like the show is better. That's like one instance and like a rare instance where I will say, like the show or the movie was better than the book the show though has translated so well from the books this past season was a hard watch if you are a connie baby girl that's for a totally different video we can talk the summer i turn pretty spoilers or something in a different video maybe we can react to the season finale or something like that but hard to read for a conrad girly i enjoyed this one a little bit better than the first one and i'm excited to read the third book and then hopefully once this writer's strike and everything is done and like actor strike, we can hopefully get the third season next summer. So definitely recommend this book if you're just looking for a cute and lighthearted, like easy read. But these are very, very, very YA. So if you're not into that, definitely skip on these books. I've also read this book. This is The Summer Girl by Elle Kennedy. This is her newest release and the third book in the Avalon Bay series by her. So the first one is Good Girl Complex bad girl reputation and then this one was released mid july and i just finished it a couple days ago this was one of my highly anticipated releases of the year just because i love supporting l kennedy i just feel like her books are so easy to read you've heard it before in a lot of my book hauls and book wrap ups and stuff but i just love how i can escape into a cheesy book with l kennedy and i just love it and you know it's going to end on a happy note so that's kind of what this one was but this was my least favorite so far of the series it took too long to get to the point like i'm pretty sure we were like 280 pages in before anything like exciting even happened with this book so just not good i don't remember if i gave this a two or a three star which kills me for l kennedy because i like to rate her highly just because while her books are like cheesy and sappy cliche whatever i just enjoy books that make me smile and books that are easy to read and i can just escape into and just like literally read in one sitting but that was not this book for me i probably wouldn't recommend this one but i do enjoy the series and i love the covers of these books but highly disappointed in this one honestly which pains me to say but hey guys this next book i'm very far behind on so no spoilers no judgment, please. I finally got my hands on Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. My boyfriend bought this for me, and I'm so endlessly grateful to him that he found it when it was restocked. But I am, guys, I am so excited to read this book. This is like 100% top priority TBR for me this fall. Like, I cannot even contain my excitement. I, I just can't contain my excitement. So definitely going to read this one and get Iron Flame pre-ordered because I don't want to repeat of what happened last time where I'm like four months late to read a book. But I'm just so excited to read this one. And while it is hardcover, I can get past it because the cover is literally stunning. So I'm definitely going to film a reading vlog for this. Don't you worry. Don't you fret. I want to see if it really is brutally addictive like author Tracy Wolf has said. every Everybody has said such good things about this book. So I trust your guys' opinion, I really do. But I'm also a firm believer that you need to read a book and you need to analyze it for yourself before you hop on that bandwagon. But I hopped on it, I bought it, and we're definitely gonna read it. And this is probably the book that I'm most excited about in this whole haul and that I'm most excited to read. So we're definitely gonna film like an unhinged reading vlog for this one, 100%. This is like my prized possession right now even though I don't even know if I'm gonna like this book, but hopefully I will, fingers crossed. Okay, I have Wait For You by Jennifer L. Armantrout. I've never heard anyone talk about this series, but I'm pretty sure it is a series called Wait For You. It's called the Wait For You series, of course it is, but I saw this at Target a few months ago. It was in the romance section. I was looking for 
a sappy romance and decided to buy this one. So we'll see if I like it. I know Jennifer L. Armanshaw writes a lot of like fantasy books. So we'll see if I like this one or if I want to like sort of test out her fantasy books instead. But not a very big book. I feel like we could breeze through this one but i also have no idea what this is about other than it's maybe a college romance question mark i have no idea so definitely going into this one like completely blind but still excited to read it nonetheless i feel like i've hauled this book on my channel before but i already had this book but i didn't know that i had it so i bought it at books a million a couple weeks ago because it was on sale for like 5.97 and i bought it and i kept this one because i like the size of it better the other one i had was like really tiny and short so i have the summer of 69 by ellen hildebrand i have a couple ellen hildebrand books on my tbr and on my bookshelves that i haven't read but i feel like this one will be a fun one to read and like at the end of summer reading vlog if we get around to filming that but yeah i don't know if i've hauled this book on my channel before i probably have but i have the summer of 69 by ellen hildebrand so i have no idea what it's about but Next up, another book I also bought at Books A Million because I didn't know that I already had it and I did. So I have Too Good To Be True by Carol Levering. The only book that I've read of Carol Levering's is Tell Me Lies, which is like that Hulu show that came out and sort of people thought was really good. So I think this is just like a thriller or something like that. So we're definitely going to film some thriller reading vlogs in the fall and winter time. Don't you fret. So we'll see if this one is any good. Okay, next up I have From Bad to Curse by Lana Harper. I'm pretty sure I have another book by Lana Harper. I could be wrong. But this is from the same author as Paybacks of Witch. And I'm pretty sure I have that one on my TBR. But these are sort of just like fantasy books about like witches and like curses and just all of that sort of thing. They're just fun little fantasy meets like real world books, I'm pretty sure. So excited to read this one specifically for the fall time. I just definitely want some like witchy romances because I haven't read any before. Like I want to read this one, Paybacks of Witch. I have the X Hex still on my TBR, which I heard is amazing. So excited to read some more like thrillers, fantasy, dystopian books, witchy stuff, just fun fall books. So we're definitely gonna curate our fall TBR. I'll probably be posting a video about all the books that I wanna read this fall, but excited to have gotten this one for a pretty good price. Okay guys, only a few more books. So I have a couple fantasy books here. I have Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. That could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is about like two sisters who were murdered, no, two sisters and one was murdered and then one of them calls I don't know, but I think it's about like the seven sins or something like that. So like, I think this is like wrath or wi wicked. I don't really know what this is about other than it's a fantasy and I've heard Sarah Carolli talk about it. And that's all I needed to know. I don't know if she liked this one, but I remember her talking about it. So I picked it up when I was book shopping a few months ago and I really liked the cover. And I feel like I remember her saying she really liked the books that had wrath in it. So I feel like this is pretty short, so it'll be pretty easy to read, but I love fantasy and I cannot wait to read more fantasy in the fall. I feel like fall is the best time to read fantasy books so excited to read this one next up i have six of crows i have crooked kingdom already i thrifted that book a few months ago but i didn't have six of crows so definitely gonna be reading this one this fall let me know if you guys have read shadow and bones do you need to read shadow and bones like the trilogy before you read the six of crows duology let me know because i really want to jump into six of crows because i haven't read either of them or Shadow and Bones and I really want to watch the Shadow and Bones Netflix show but I don't know if I need to read Shadow and Bones before I read Six of Crows. Let me know because I just really want to get into the Grishaverse for sure. So just let me know if you guys have read them or if it matters because if it doesn't matter I'm definitely going to be picking these ones up soon. Okay next one I have I'm actually so excited to read and I haven't heard anyone talk about this but this is called The Mary Shelley Club and this is by Goldie Moldavowski. Moldovsky, I don't know, but this is like a high school, like Scream Queens meets Slasher kind of book. And if you know me, you know I love horror films and most specifically like the slasher genre, like Scream Queens. I love Scream. I love just all that kind of stuff. Like the Fear Street movies, I'm so down for. So the fact that this probably gives off that same vibe. I don't know anything else that it's about other than high school is a scream, and people have said it's a little bit scream, a little bit gossip girl, and a little bit pulpy page turning suspenseful read that keeps you up all night okay a little bit of scream meets scream meets gossip girl are you kidding me can we make that a tv show or a movie like stat so i'm so excited to read this one this 100 is at the top of my list for my fall tbr other than like some fantasy books 
I'm just so stoked to read this one and I've never heard anyone talk about it. So definitely going to be featuring this in a reading vlog, 100%. Okay guys, I have two more books to show you. So the first one I have is Renegades by Marissa Meyer. I've heard Sarah Caroli talk about this and this is kind of just like a group of like superheroes that are kind of like prodigies. So they all have like secret identities and like extraordinary powers and stuff. So this one is a thick book, but I'm so excited to read this one. I've been wanting more just kind of like dystopian books to read and I feel like this one is going to be fun and I heard the politics in this one like there's not a whole lot and there's not a whole lot of world building it's just like a fun exciting read so last but not least we have a book that I've heard only a couple people talk about I wish it was a paperback but I wanted to read it so much I decided to get the hardcover but we have an anonymous girl by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Buchanan so this is like a thriller book and I think this is about a girl who signs up for a psychology study like conducted by like a psychologist or a doctor or something and signed up for it for money but i guess as the questions grow more and more intense she's told to like how to act and stuff like that and then i guess the doctor knows what she's hiding i guess she's hiding like a secret and she's supposed to remain anonymous in the study but i guess the doctor knows everything about her so this just sounds like so fun and so up my alley for like fall thriller vibes. So I'm excited to read this one and I'll definitely keep you guys updated on my thoughts. That is all the books that I have to show you guys. I am so excited that I got to haul all of these for you guys finally. And now I just need to edit this video, get it up for you guys, and then we can start reading and filming reading vlogs and incorporating all of these into fun videos. But be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to follow me over on TikTok, my bookstagram, all that good stuff. I'll have all of my socials linked down below. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.